ladies and gentlemen, you welcome back to the channel. My name is Nifon Tui. On this channel, I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. So please make sure to jump back on those days in order to watch new content. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the skirt that you've seen um, in the scene before I started talking to you. Um, if you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are a beginner or if you are a person who brush up on your skill, I offer online courses. I, uh, I'll be showing a demo on how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and decide if it will be convenient for you to learn online. All right. If you are interested, send a telegram message to the number that you can see on the screen. Now, um, before we start the video, I would just like to um, say something. Um, now, this channel would not be possible if not for my mother all right my um mom um was the first was the first person to introduce was the person that introduced me to uh to sewing and she taught me a lot of the things that i learned at the first stage she was the one that got me going she was the one that provided me with um with the resources with um and you know that just inspired me and showed me that this can be a lot more than you know people people think right um so if you would love to see her if you love to see what my mom looks like uh, i am my wife on my channel on my other channel in the fun family we dropped a video where we pranked my mom that we that my wife is pregnant again how much if you love to see my mom's reaction um what you would do is you go to your search bar if, if you've not done this before look for the fun family um the our most recent video okay on our most recent video you are going to um tap on it you would see the video and um if you have not subscribed already i would really 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 appreciate it if you subscribe to my family channel and check out the other videos that we have there thank you so much for your time do have a lovely day enjoy the rest of the video all right so you're welcome to to, uh, to the video you've already seen the um, skirt at the beginning of the video so um as for the part where i draft the skirt i've already made um, a video on how to draft different types of pencil skirts so if you see that video you will know how i drafted um, the patterns for the front and the back of the skirt so i'm going to be using this fabric as my main fabric and this one here as my decorative piece for um on the fabric and that's the lining i'm going to use so please make sure to see the video how to draft different types of pencil skirts in order to know how to draft this once again Okay, so you just watched me cut the fabric. So you, you've um, seen the way I put it on the fold and I cut it. I'm going to cut my lining the same way. The only difference is that I'm going to make my lining to be 3 inches shorter. All right, so um, you can see on this pattern here, that, so this pattern here is for the front. You can see that it's shorter than the, the fabric is longer than the lining by 3 inches. You to cut your lining 3 inches shorter at the bottom. The same thing for goes for the back. Now, in the last video that I made, the skirt that we made, I did not iron any interfacing onto the fabric because the fabric was already really really tough. So on this one here, this fabric is pretty it's pretty soft. So I'm going it's linen but really really light. So I'm going to use um, interfacing to hold it down. So I'm using woven lightly woven fusible interfacing. If you're in Nigeria look for SA I'm going that's what I'm going to use to iron onto the wrong side of the fabric. Alright so like I said you should cover I will cover one side of my the wrong side of my fabric with um, my interfacing so I'm going to that one side I'm going to show you what to do on one side and then you have to repeat the same thing on all the other sides but you're going to do that um, by yourself okay so the first thing we're going to do I've already notched um, the place where I want to hold my darts if you've seen my um, the video on how to uh, draft a pencil skirt I will, there I explained the uh, which the how to position or where to place your darts okay that's where to place your darts on your on your waist so now I'm going to collapse it in half like I have done and then I'm going to hold I'm going to start from up here so the, the space from the edge to where my needle is going to land now is half an inch and then I'll taper out 
to nothing. So you're going to sew from here and taper out to whatever point where you want your dart to stop. For me, I want this dart to stop at um, around 4 inches. So by the time I get to 4 inches, it would be nothing. From half inch at the top here, I tapered out to nothing. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the same thing on the remaining one side of the front and the two sides that make up the lining. Alright, so when you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to your ironing table and you're going to need to iron all these places where you've hold, where you just held your darts flat. Alright, so now um, after you've ironed your the darts that you just stitched, after you've ironed everything flat, what you're going to do next is this. Now you see this place here where I have a little notch over here. Okay, now that point from the top here to this point is eight inches. Now that is why that's the part I want to leave open and uh, for my zipper. So what you're going to do now is this, you're going to come from this point now, you are going to hold whatever you kept as your zipper allowance, from this point where you made the notch, okay, for where your zipper is to stop, you're going to hold whatever zipper allowance you kept, so for me I held, I kept 2 inches, so I'm going to come from here, 2 inches from here, all the way down, okay, so I'm now, the next thing, by the time you get to, um, after some time, um, after sewing for some time you stop, you're going to measure 7 inches, away from the edge or from the bottom of your um, of your pattern so this is the bottom of the skirt pattern from here as you can see I'm at seven inches so I'm going to stop there and I'm going to make a back stitch because of the uh, the slit length that I want and you're going to have to repeat the same uh, stitch on your lining okay so this is what you're going to do to make it easy for you you are going to arrange your lining like so you see this, make sure that the notch on the lining is also facing where the notch is facing on the fabric too. You see that, uh, obviously this is where our stitch will start from. But on the bottom part here, so that you don't have to, it's possible to get this right with calculation, but just so as to save yourself some stress, you place the pattern, keep it on the same level at the top, you come to where you stopped your most recent stitch, you see that, and you just simply put the finger there, and now you can make an X, so that by the time you are holding your two inches, so that by the time you're holding your two inches from your zipper allowance, you know that you are supposed to stop at this point. So from this point, same thing we did. I'm going to come from here. Now the next thing we're going to do is to take this over to the ironing table. We're going to spread these two parts. So you see here, we're going to spread here flat and give it a good press. We're going to lay here flat and iron it all the way to the bottom okay so now after you've ironed here flat the next thing is to come to the top of your of your skirt where you have your um your that and then you're going to need to install your zipper so just the way you install your zipper on every other project same thing you are going to do here Alright, so with that I have joined the, um, I have attached, I fixed my zipper, sorry, I was looking for the word. So with that I have attached, I have installed my zipper, okay, it's like the zipper should be installed. Now onto the next step. So the next step is you're going to come to the bottom, alright, so you see this, leave the zipper first, you're going to come to the bottom, and you see what I'm doing here, you're going to come over. I'm going to place the the um, the front side of your lining, so the clean side of your lining. You're going to make it face the clean side of your fabric, and you're going to come over to the end here. So at the end here, you know this side here is where I have the hip because look at this is the zip. So this side here is the hip all the way down to here. You are going to keep the zipper allowance of two inches away from the edge, and you are going to stitch the bottom part together all the way through. Make sure to keep it 2 inches before you start to stitch. Then you're going to repeat the same thing on this other side. So you see this, you're going to just continue from here into the other side. Then you will stop before you get to, to where you have 2 inches. 
Okay, so bring it out. Alright, so you can see how everything is looking clean on this part here. What we're going to do next is this. We're going to bring this top part here. You see this here? You're going to now come to the top. You're going to zip down. Okay, and you're going to do something similar on this other part over here. So, you see this part here? This is the hip area. This area here is the zipper area. We are going to come from here. You are going to keep a space of 2 inches away from where you have the edge. A space of 2 inches. And then... So, by the time you see this, I did the same thing on this part. I stopped before I got to 2 inches. See that? So, that's what you're going to do. You can separate the bottom as well. So that's what you're going to do. The next thing is you're going to turn everything inside out. So you put your hand on the blue, see the way I pass through here, and then simply just flip everything to the opposite direction. Okay, so you see that? You see the way this part is now looking? You see that? Now the next thing we're going to do is this. So you see the top part here where we have this excess? You see this part here, the zipper allowance excess. After you turn it inside out, you are going to pass your hand through here, okay? And you are going to do this. You are going to keep it flat. Use your um, index finger to push this in, and then you catch it with your hand that's inside there. Turn everything inside out. And now, the next step is to stitch here that zipper together. So, underneath here, you will see where you recently made your, the stitch that's holding your zipper down. I want you to stitch as close to that stitch as possible, but do not climb on top of the stitch. Now when you have done that, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to come over to the bottom. Okay, so you see this, you are going to come over to the bottom part of it. Alright, and you are going to need to make a stitch. Okay. You're going to make a stitch, make sure that everything is flat. Now, you will see where you stopped your stitch for your slits. You're going to need to continue this stitch down, but make sure that when you are stitching, that nothing is in your way, that you are only stitching this part of your fabric and the lining that is closest to it. Make sure that nothing is happening underneath. You can put your, your hand in there and take out anything that, that you feel is in your way. Okay, after you have done that, you're now going to go from here, you're now going to go from here all the way to the bottom. You see that this part here, the slit is neat. So if I come to the top and I turn everything inside out, you see this, look at what's happening now on this part here. You see that the, my lining smooth all the way down to my zipper um, area here is smooth and all is um, is neat and all the way down inside here too you see that all the excess in my slit is sitting here i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side both at the zipper and at the end all right so you see this now look at you can see how clean the slit is both outside and on the inside and also the zipper look at this inside smooth and flush and outside the same thing now the next thing is for us to deal with the front so the front um, we're going to need to hold uh, our darts in front we have done our darts before Alright, so now, after you've held the darts on both the fabric and the lining, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure across the hip. Now, this hip includes the allowance that we're working with. So, on mine, I have 23. So, on whatever hip measurements you have across the front, okay? So, this is just the front alone, not the total hip measurement. So, just the pattern that's laying in front of us. So, I have 23. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut mine at 26 inches, okay? I'm going to add 3 inches to it as um, just for safety. You make sure you do the same on your on your on on yours too if you are doing this for the first time. 
you are going to, of course I didn't thought for the first time, this is probably why you're watching the video, too. sorry, don't mind me. So you're going to add 3 inches to, to whatever you have across here. Now as for the width of the, of the pattern that you're going to cut, now I'm going to cut mine with a width of, um, of 20 inches because the skirt length totally is 20. Okay? 26 inches across, 20 all the way down. I'm going to cut it two times and then we're going to come back for the next step. Okay, so now this is the fabric I intend to create that strip you've seen in front. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hem the both sides. So remember I told you guys that I'm going to cut 23, um, 26 inches, okay, 26 inches by 20, twice, alright, so I told you guys I was going to do that. So now I'm going to hem both sides of the um, pattern. Okay, so now after you have hemmed both sides, what you're going to do is, you can see here, this is my hip area. You're going to pick one side of your pattern and align it with the hip area. Now, what, so you can see I'm aligning the fabric with the hip area around here, but if you notice, the top part will not align because the waist is tapered and the bottom of the skirt is tapered as well. So you're going to push, keep your pattern to sit one inch away from the top part of your fabric here and then you're going to simply make that as now this is 20 inches at the end of the day i want this to be 10 inches so you're going to be mindful of that as you drape as you drape along but it's simple just make pleats okay simply just make pleats from here going down Okay, so first of all, after you first, you know, pleat everything, make sure that everything is laying, is laying smoothly, okay? Make sure everything is laying smoothly, and then you're going to now pack it up right at the other side of the hip. Make sure that the fabric that is underneath, make sure that the fabric that is underneath is laying smoothly. Now, this 20 inches that I, that I used, this is just to show you for your first example, you can make it 30 40 inches and then gather everything um, because the more you keep on that 20 remember we did 26 by 20 the more you keep on that 20 is the more um, fabric you would have to gather on the side here so it depends it all depends on what you want at the end of the day but for something minimal you can see the result that we have here okay so you gather everything on this side here and then you're going to make sure the fabric underneath is smooth once again i'm going to say that and when all when everything when everything looks good, you're going to keep it like so, turn it, and then you're going to stitch on top of it. So you see this, we're going to go from here all the way up. After this, you can cut the excess fabric that you will have. Okay? You can now chop off the excess fabric that you have over here. And the next thing I'm going to do is remember, we hemmed, um, remember that on this part, we hemmed it the same way, we hemmed both the top and the bottom so um, we have both sides okay so you're going to pick one of the ends so you see here here is zero off here is zero off you're going to pick one end and finish it properly okay now after after you have done that next thing you are going to do is you're going to come over to this part here now the other side that you that you've left without stitching, you're now going to gather it like so, gather it like so, gather it like so, and then you're going to keep it on this side here and simply just stitch on top of it. Now now we're done with the design. This is the part that is going to fall down the side of the skirt at the end of the day. So you see that. Um, the next thing is for you to attach the lining. So I'm going to come over to the top. I'm going to keep a space of two inches, and I'm going to start to stitch the waist together. All right. Now, 
next thing I'm going to do is the same thing at the bottom. I'm going to keep a space of 2 inches before I start to stitch. Alright, so now the next thing, by the time we turn this inside out, is you will see that we have finished our fabric and our lining clean. Okay, so you see this? Look how the lining has pulled the fabric off. I'm going to go and iron this prepare. Alright, so now when you are joining the front and the back together, is when everything is going to start to fall in place. Now when I was drafting my pattern, I kept open 5 inches for, um, of allowance on the side for my sewing allowance. So now I'm going to stitch 1.5 inches on the side from here all the way down. Now I'm going to put stitch the fabric to the fabric alone first. And when I'm done with the fabric to the fabric, I'm going to repeat the same thing on the lining. Right. And then the next thing is to repeat the same thing on the fabric. So you see this part here, the fabric, the lining, sorry, the lining is still hanging loose. So you're going to repeat the same thing on the lining and push everything inside if it's getting in your way. So I'm going to still hold 1.5 on my lining. Okay, so you see this, this is where we just joined over here. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the lining. 1.5 from here all the way down. So now the next thing I'm going to do is you see this here. Now this is the space that's left at the bottom. Remember we stopped stitching at um, before two inches here before two inches. Next thing we are going to do is you're going to need to lay both the lining and the fabric flat, and then you are going to stitch across both of them. So you see the top part that we have over here. I'm now we're going to lay the fabric and the lining flat. So you see that fabric flat, lining flat. Now after you have done that, you're going to need to repeat the same step on the other side, on this other side of the of the front, okay? On the other side of the skirts. So you see here, it's still the same thing. See here, we're going to join both sides of this fabric together. You see this? So it's still here. Both sides of the, of the both sides of the fabric together, then join both sides of the lining together. I'm going to do that. It's basically the same thing what I did on the other side. When I'm done with that, or when I'm at the last step, I'm going to um, show you. All right. So now you see I have hemmed the waist. Remember uh, when we were when we we're stitching the other side, we laid it flat like this. We spread both sides of the fabric and the lining, and we stitched across. We completed this stitch from here to here. But in this case, that's not what we're going to do. In this case, we're going to use this hole that we have left to turn the entire skirt inside out. All right, so after you have done that, after you have turned everything inside out, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to seal this hole that is left. So at this point, you can, you can use uh, hemming tape, that's hemming gum, that's the round um, adhesive that you put and when you iron it, it's sealed or you can simply just stitch across it which I will do okay but for the cleanest finish you can use the hemming tape or but that that will not last as long as your stitch would your stitch is more definite so if you are if you are using matching colors of thread matching colors of lining you can simply just run the stitch down here I think after all the neat work that we have done I don't think that anybody would uh, mind one stitch at the bottom of the dress where they might never have notice it. Um, but yeah, this is what we have. I'm going to um, head back to my ironing table. I need to iron it very, very, very well for everything to come out as it's supposed to. Okay, so that's how I made the um, that's how I made the the skirts. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to check out my family channel that's in the phone family and please help me subscribe on that channel i would really appreciate that just search in the phone family and give me a subscribe and maybe watch a video if you see anything that you like thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video have a lovely day bye bye